Hi, I am Michelle. I'm going to talk to you about the Slender Town Slimming Belt, which I purchased on eBay. And it came with the charger and the pads. Um, but I did order some extra pads. <clears throat> First of all, I'm going to show you how to put it on. Then I have to tell you something important. So, peel off that, and you've got to have sticky side facing your skin. So, excuse me. Now, it's not supposed to touch any part of clothing. Just supposed to be, oops, just supposed to be on your skin. Sorry about that. Um, so kind of roll my sweatpants down and once you have it on that's the slender tone belt you have this gadget here this you hold down until it actually comes on this button here will give you the different uh, intensities putting up for me and then these two arrows here you have to press them one at a time while you have the belt on and you'll start feeling a tingling so you set it to however much you can take basically but make sure you do it like this one so that you're doing it evenly Now, I'm just going to put it on while I talk to you because there's some important things that you should know because I made a big mistake just the other day. Um, so, I started at 30 on level 5, but now I take it, I've taken it up to... Up to 60 on level 5. That's how much I can handle, but each individual is different. So make sure the strength is right for you. Now, what's kind of handy is there is a little pocket where you can put it into in the belt. And I'll just make myself a little bit decent. Oops, hang on, that's my belt slipping off here. Okay. That's why you can't really have any clothes near it, the Velcro. Okay, so I've got the belt on, and it's set for half an hour. Um, and I can do whatever I want to do. I can walk around the house, I can talk to you. Um, and what it does, it'll flex your muscles to the tension and strength that you want it to. Um, start gradually. Now, the mistake I made the other day, um, I bought some pads and I had to put them on as you saw. Um, oh, number one, when you finish you should just kind of wipe them very slightly so that they're still sticky, like just to get the oils off before you put this back on it. Anyway, um, I put on, because I hadn't used it in a while, so I put it on um, and without realizing that I needed new pads. So I put it on and oh my god, I was feeling like I was being electrocuted and I couldn't take the belt off fast enough. Um, because it was literally just zapping me, my skin. I could feel it zapping my skin. Because the metal parts that are in there, that's why you have these pads. If they do touch your skin, that's what it's going to do. I mean, you're not plugged into anything. I mean, you're not going to get electrocuted, but this is what it felt like. So I was in a bit of a panic because I was up to 99. And I was wondering, 99 on level 6, it should be doing something. And 
weird. So I changed the pads. I put the new pads on. Not realizing I still had it on level 6.99. And yes, it shocked the living daylights out of me, something I won't forget, because it was so strong that every time I touched the belt, I would get like a shock. So eventually I got the belt off and managed to shut the machine off and then started all over again. So that's just a little tip. Um, so I'll be sitting here with my belt and um, yeah, half an hour is good, but put it to the strength that feels best for you. And just be careful, don't do what I do or did, and don't electrocute yourself.